Members of the Unforgiven, those of the Inner Circle, welcome to this video to have a look at the awesome Lion and some Blade Guard. Really great selection of miniatures. Uh, the brand new Primark uh, model, obviously Lionel Johnson, and then we have the stunning, truly stunning uh, sort of porcelain white Deathwing um, to go with him. Uh, really great set of models. Um, I absolutely love uh, love Deathwing. Um, I've always always had a soft spot for them back all the way back to the Angels of Death Codex back in the day in Second Edition. Um, I do absolutely love the the way that Nathan's done a phenomenal job of rendering the armor in this truly, truly sort of very clean alabaster porcelain-esque kind of color scheme, almost an off-white, uh, which I do really love. Um, there's an old Deathwing uh, game uh, cover art where the, the Terminator is in like a bright white uh, armor, and I, I fell in love with that look of Deathwing uh, very, very many years ago, and I think that Nathan's done a great job of uh, making it very similar to that. Um, got to touch upon one of my favorite parts of these models, which is actually the basing. Um, I do love the sort of almost lava world orange-esque kind of bases. Uh, the green accents, obviously, for example, the tabards and things like that on these. Um, it's really nice to have those two contrasting colours just to really add a lot of high sort of values to the models. Um, but yeah, really, really well rendered and well executed. Again, all with full, bedecked with full transfers on all the shoulder pads and little details. Um, we've got all these little details on the back of the legs, like the little lenses and dials and buttons and things are all painted. Um, all the text on the purity cells has been rendered extremely refined. Each of them has got a, a different uh, tilt shield, uh, unique heraldry on their tilt shields as well, which is really nice. Uh, and just adds a little bit of sort of individual character to each of the models. Um, but yeah, these have been executed extremely well. I'm just going to jump through and have a look at different. There's a sergeant from the squad just pointing, obviously, the next victim for the unit or something like that. But um, really well done. Uh, all the facial details fully painted. Multiple stages are highlighting across all of those little, little details. Uh, the sergeant being the sergeant has even more purity seals uh, on him than you can possibly imagine. And again, Nathan's done a phenomenal job of just rendering those extremely well and highlighting them up through various stages. Um, these uh, blade guard are actually painted to our bronze level, so these are bronze level uh, blade guard veterans. Uh, again, with just transfers added onto them and some really cool basing as well, which is great. Uh, and then the final one, which is the other bear head from the unit, uh, in a much more attacking sort of pose, sort of like he's bracing with a shield and then about to thrust with a sword as well, which I think is a great sort of uh, posing that like, Nathan's done on these uh, miniatures. Uh, again, really, really well done. He's got unique heldry on his tilt shield as well. One thing I do really like is on the swords, the, the power nodes have all been painted in contrast in orangey red as well, just to really work with some of the colours that are on this uh, on this miniature. And that's the last of the three Blade Guard veterans. We saved the real main man for the final of the video, which is Lionel Johnson. And uh, this has been executed to an absolutely exquisite level. Uh, it's done at silver, just to show you obviously what you get with us here for a silver character service. Let's let's dive in straight away and have a look at the sword because it's probably one of my favorite things on this model, along with the face. I think the face has been done really well, but we'll get back to that. Uh, I do love the use of the orange sort of electrical field that the uh, power sword has got. Again, using that color relationship to just really work with the overall composition of the whole entire piece piece and sense of colors and tones. Uh, again, you've got this huge lava base on him as well. Just again, loads of flecks of different tones of orange and reds on there, just again to work really well with the darker green tones that are on the model. Um, there is so much detail on Lionel, just literally everywhere you look, there's something really interesting to be captivated by when you're looking at the model, uh, especially when it's been painted to an exquisite level like this. Facially as well, Nathan's done a great job of picking out all the little details on the face. There's so much character that's been painted on that really pristine, crisp sculpt that's, uh, that's obviously new from Games Workshop. Uh, but again, he's done really, really well. Uh, but we can't not uh, look at the Watchers in the Dark as well, just flanking Lionel. One carrying the scabbard, one carrying another sort of ornament with uh, with long sort of like flailing sort of purity seals. Uh, and again, it's a really great job at the level of refinement on the script and things and the sort of like the checkerboard and little details that have been painted on these. Uh, on some of them, you've got little aquillas and things. So it's a really nice use of uh, sort of uh, accuracy and skill that's been put on those sort of uh, purity seals. We've got the Emperor's Shield, uh, obviously another sort of heirloom from there from his father. Uh, this really lovely, a massive, massive shield that's super ornate. And you can see all the little details. There's loads of little gems and things that have all been fully painted on there as well. Uh, but again, overall, an absolutely stunning model. And let's finish by looking at this really subtly sort of highlighted cloak just to add that sort of darker vibe that I would expect with like a knight or like Lionel. Um, you can see the lovely sort of different sort of tonal variants that has been done on that, uh, on that cloth work as well, which is just great. Uh, that is Lionel Johnson to lead this small commission to bring some absolute carnage to the tabletop with the amount of attacks and things that Lionel is packing. Um, do hope you like the video ever so much. If you're interested in getting a character painted for your army or collection, head to the description of this video and click the link to our contact form. Complete that, send that into us for a fully broken down quote. As always, please like, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. 
And from all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.